Every Saturday used to get up and they used to mine to Elvis Presley records or the local English uh, star Tommy Steele and, and people like that, Everly Brothers, so forth. And people used to just get up and mime. And we saw this boy do it once and we wanted to do it. So we had, uh, I can't remember the record now, but we had a record and it broke. And in those days the records broke. So we just got on the stage and the manager of the theatre put a microphone in front of us and we sang uh, two songs. And that was the first time we actually sang in front of an audience and we loved it. You know, it was just a great feeling. And how was the reaction? Well, I suppose kids just went, you know, hooray, you know, but, they, you know, we don't really know now. I mean, it was just, uh, just kids having fun on the stage. At the time, were you already dreaming of being stars one day? We knew what we were going to do. We knew we wanted to sing. We knew we wanted to be in music. But uh, Barry was the first one to say it, that we were definitely going to be in, in, in the business, in show business. We wanted to be in show business because we saw people who were famous and, and kids, all kids, even today, when they see someone that they admire, they want to be like them. And that's how we felt. We just wanted to be... You know, we didn't think of money or anything like that. We just wanted to be famous. Well, I mean, they weren't real guitars, but I mean, we would we would pretend that they were. Um, we smash up all Stradivariuses and create all yeah. his own guitars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, in those days, it was so easy to get Stradivariuses. You know, yeah, just yeah. um, a dozen. Um, I used to. My, uh, where Dad used to get them from, I don't know, but for some Steve strange reason, <laughs> for some strange reason, our father used to bring home large cheese barrels. We used to watch him two o'clock in the morning outside the bedroom, window. rolling them into the cellar. Because yeah. he was rolling huge cheese. We barrels. never knew why. In fact, uh, we've always been suspicious that it, in fact, was an international ring of cheese smugglers. <laughs> it was only two years later after he came out of Pentonville we realised something was up. <laughs> the subtitling people will never make this speed. You understand that? All right. <laughs> okay. okay. The cheese boxes. The cheese boxes. The cheese boxes. Um, um, I used to break them up and take the base of the cheese barrel which was round, and the, the strips from the barrel itself, and that became the neck of the guitar, and I would put those together and pretend it was a guitar and put steel wire down the guitar and oh, draw on it so that it looked like a guitar. And how did it sound? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Awful sound. It was like fuse wire, you know, that you fix fuse. No, because actually that was a disaster. It was when he went to the tea chest that he had success. Yes, it yeah. wasn't until the, that was the breakthrough. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty close. close. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, um, I think you have to be. Um, to uh, to survive in this business as long as we have, and the fact that we're brothers obviously uh, enables that to to really happen. Um, groups that are not brothers, I don't think, could last as long as we have and still be friends. We're all each other's best friends because of all the the, the valleys and peaks we've had through our career. We've seen the people come and go that we thought were friends outside the families, and they disappeared. Yes. But there's always been our brothers to turn to when there's ever been anything to, to, I heard to talk about. The Beach Boys don't actually talk to each other. Really? Don't blame them. They all, no, <laughs> they all have separate managers and they don't talk. Yeah. But it was, it was a period when you split up. If, yeah. if I see the three of you together like this, I cannot understand that you have ever split up. Well, to what us, was it, was like, it? it was like 15 minutes out of an hour to us. You know, well, were you was, brothers? You argue, yeah. you know? And, and We were younger too. Yes. And when we were younger, we were inexperienced and an argument meant a split. These days, an argument doesn't mean a split. That's just stupid. Uh, no, we're no longer creative arguments. We're no longer stupid. <laughs> for example, for this last album, ESP, again, you wrote everything yourself. Yeah, all yeah, the songs we all really like, we we never, We've never uh, done that, D done but that. We've yeah. always written all our own albums and other people's. But how does that work, concretely? Well, it starts with an idea by one of us, and, um, and then becomes then we, we work on it till it becomes the great melody. And then we, uh, we have our title and our melody, and then we do our lyrics. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And you can read music? No. no. Is that not important? No. no. I think probably is, is important in the respect that if you knew music, you wouldn't be as adventurous. I don't, yeah, I don't think we'd be as spontaneous if we knew how to read or write music. Yeah. yeah. How difficult is it to handle success? Because you had a tremendous international success when you were very young. How difficult is it to handle success it when you were so young? It, it is it's, difficult, it's, but I think yeah. it's better because we were brothers and together and to share it. It's, well, e it's easy and it's mm, difficult. It depends. Yeah. Yeah. I somewhere read that one morning you went down and you had to choose whether you want to take your, your Rolls or Lamborghini. <laughs> Isn't that well, those are the crazy situation? days, yeah, those are the and that's Morris's quote. I mean, yeah. there was there, there were days in like, l the late '60s uh, when we just first had our first international success, and and the the thing that you did in those days, if you were a teenager in a rock group that had a lot of success, you simply went out and bought cars. The cars just represented the idea that we didn't know how to handle money. No, it's ego tripping. It and, was well, yeah, big, you know, and we were still growing up, and uh, you know, you don't Probably. do those things later yes. on in life. You had all the success in this business you can ever dream of. What's still the challenge? Is there any challenge dreaming. left? The <laughs> challenge is that we're, we're, it, it's not so much a challenge as that it's part of our life to continue to get better and progress. Uh, uh, we're very fortunate to be, uh, and it's a standard comment, we're very fortunate to be able to earn our living and, keep, and bring our families up based on doing something that we love doing. And when we were very young, we, uh, uh, the idea of money never came into it. It was the idea of being famous is what we wanted. Yes. And the idea of being famous is still what we want.
children and we love them. I mean, it's great. Yeah. But it's when you have children of your own and you see other kids, like you see starving and all that sort of thing, it makes you realize how lucky and how blessed you yeah. are. And those kind of things are the things that you really want to do something about. Yes. And as a Bob Geldof was a typical example yeah. of that. Yes. Give me some first reactions to, to the words I'm going to say to you. I'll start with you. The rattlesnakes. <laughs> Okay, that's Memories. <laughs> that's all I can think of. Rattlesnakes, our first name. Bill yeah. Haley. Um, Haley Cohen. No, you're not. No. Um, it's Barry. Bill Haley. Um, one of our first influences, the fact that it was rock and roll. Yeah. No. Father. Sorry? Father, how do I pronounce his name? Hugh. 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 First thing that comes to your mind. Los Angeles. <laughs> Why Los Angeles? He lives there. <laughs> uh, Mother Barbara. Beautiful. Barbara Streisand. Ugly. <laughs> Do you ask us no, that again, please? Barbara Streisand. Um, uh, fantastic. Yes, we would have loved to see your eyes because we don't know what you look like. There you are. <laughs>